Hello, this is William from Visual Components. In this video, I'm going to show you how to manually deactivate a standalone license. For this video, I will be using a Windows 10 virtual machine. Before we get started, I want to look at the end user license agreement. You can see here, you are not allowed to use a standalone license with the software in a virtual machine. Also, the number of times you can transfer or deactivate a standalone license is limited to three times per month. So what I'm doing here is just for demonstration and testing purposes only. Generally, you need to deactivate a license manually when your machine cannot connect to the Visual Components license server. In my virtual machine, I'll go to Network and Internet Settings. I'll now click Change Adapter Options. And I will disable my network interface card. Close this out and I'm not connected to the internet anymore. So with my 4.0 product running, I'll now click the File tab to go backstage, click Info, click License. Notice I'm using a full or perpetual standalone license with the software, so I have the option to deactivate the license. If you are using an evaluation license, remember you cannot deactivate an evaluation license. In this case, I have a full license, so I can now click Deactivate. This will close the software and open the activation guide, which you can see here. So I do want to deactivate this license here. I'll click the deactivate button. And it checked and found that I'm not connected to the internet, so I have to perform manual deactivation following these five steps. The first step is to generate a deactivation request file. So this is a file that asks permission to deactivate your license. I'll click the Generate button, and now save the file. We have a green check mark, so far so good. And now I need to upload or submit this file to the license portal at this address. So I'll go to my internet browser, and we'll want to go to HTTPS, license.visualcomponents.net. If you forget the address, you can go to the Visual Components website, so that's www.visualcomponents.com. And I'll make my web browser bigger. And at the top right corner, there is a link called Licensing that will take you to the licensing portal. From here, you have to log on to your account. If you don't have one, you can click Register Now. I'll go ahead now and sign into my account. Okay, I signed into my account. From here, you want to click Manual Licensing. And you now have options to upload that deactivation request file. So I need to get that file from my virtual machine. I'll minimize my browser. And then let's now go to where we saved the file. It was in my documents. So I'm going to copy this file and then put it on my main machine, which you can see here. I'll now upload this file to the portal. So I'll click Choose File. Now select the deactivation request file and then click open. And to confirm the upload, I'll click this button here. Notice the request type is to request product deactivation, and this is a new request. So to confirm, I'll click the button here. Right now the status is pending, but just wait. The process is now complete and the file is available for downloading. So you need to download the deactivated license file. Click this button here. And now, we need to put that file on our virtual machine. So it's the file right here. Make this bigger. You can see this is a deactivation permission file. So we first got the request to deactivate, and then we got permission to deactivate the license. So I'll copy that permission file and put it on my virtual machine. We now go back to the steps. We did steps one and two. We now need to upload the permission file. So I'll click Upload button, and then get the permission file here. You can see, I'll now click Open. Green check mark, yes, so far so good. And now to confirm everything, you have to click the Deactivate button here. So this is pretty much the final straw, but we got one more step. This now creates a deactivation confirmation file. So you need to save this, and we get some information here. 
So now the license is deactivated, but we still need to upload that confirmation file to the license portal because if we plan on using the software on a different machine with that license, the license server has to know that the license is available and it has been deactivated on this machine here. So I'll close this out. And now we need to get that file that confirms we deactivated the license. So I'll copy it, put it on my main machine. Now we need to upload this file to the license portal. I'll go there now. So I'm already doing manual licensing. I'll click the choose file option or button. And we're uploading the deactivation confirmation file here. Click open, then click upload file. Notice the request type is to confirm product key deactivation. And this is a new request. I'll now click confirm. Status is pending, but just wait. The process is now complete and it's now confirmed that that product key, that standalone license is deactivated and I don't have to download anything else. So now I can use this product key with the software either on the same machine or a different machine. Let's now go back and if we minimize these and run the 4.0 software, let's see what happens. And you can see here I'm prompted with the activation guide, so I now need to license the software in order to use it. Okay, this completes the video. If you have any more questions, please feel free to visit our forum at forum.visualcomponents.com, and I hope you have a wonderful day.